Hey everyone, I'm Lauren, and I'm going to be giving a message today. So, with it being Easter and everything, I hope everyone is having a good time with their families, even though, like, we can't do everything we normally would do. I still hope that y'all are making the best of it. And anyways, so the first thing that I think of when I think of Easter is Jesus and his crucifixion and his resurrection, because that's what it's all about. And so one thing I'm going to focus on today is what happened the night before the crucifixion. So when we look at Jesus before the night before the crucifixion, he has gone up to the Mount of Olives with his friends or his disciples. and. He has gone up there and they have fallen asleep on him. He has asked them to watch over him and they've fallen asleep. And that's just the flesh, the failure in flesh. And in this, Jesus knows that there's more than that though. There's even more. And he's feeling loneliness and sorrow and distress because of this conflicting thing that he's gonna have to face. He has to make a decision and he knows it. He knows it's gonna be so difficult being fully man, having to take on all of the sins of man and flesh. Yet, he is fully God, so he sees both sides of what this outcome will do. But we're gonna pause there, and we're gonna rewind to 2 Samuel 15, and we're gonna look at a story that David is facing. So here, David is facing, he is trying to decide what he must do to save his life, because his own son is trying to take it from him. His son is threatening to kill him, and the people in this, in this town or this community, they are so captivated on the things of the earth that they are following this king who is for evil and destruction. And it tears David apart because that's his own flesh and blood. That's his son. And his son is going the farthest away from God. And he is tearing it, or he's tearing down the faith that has once been built. And David, learning from his past mistakes, knows that he cannot live there any longer. He must escape. And in order to do this, he's going up the Mount of Olives and he is going to the Garden of Gethsemane where Jesus, we find Jesus the night before. And in the Garden of Gethsemane, he goes there because he knows there's an escape route, a well-known escape route to leave Jerusalem and to go to the desert and leave the things of the, things of the past behind. But when we go back to, to Jesus, we see that Jesus does not take that escape route. But we know that good, full, and well that he knows that there isn't a route there to escape. And we know that he cries out to God to take his cup. But we know at the end that Jesus is still asking God for his will to be done. And Jesus, being fully God, knows that the will must be the pain. He must go through the pain and face death. Even though there's a perfectly good way to escape just right around the corner, Jesus cannot escape this one. And because of that, it changes everything for us. Because he did not escape, it changes what, how we live today. Because he did not escape and he embraced death, we no longer have to embrace death. We get to experience an everlasting life because of his crucifixion. But the best thing is that we get this everlasting life because he did not stay dead. He did not stay there. He did escape. He escaped the death because he rose again, but he found a different escape, one that not everybody could find. Only, only, someone who, only someone who is fully God and fully man could do this, and that's what he got done. And through this, we no longer have to have our sins. So the people of the city of David, if they would follow God, they would be able because of all their sins they would follow God but they knew that they weren't going to be perfected they couldn't be perfected because they couldn't offer a sacrifice large enough to cover the multitude of sins that they had been sinning over and over and over again but now with Jesus the ultimate sacrifice was a given and that means we can be perfected and when we choose not to escape the hardness and we choose to go through it and persevere it just brings us closer and closer and we become more perfected in our faith with him so that one day when we get to heaven it will not be a waste down here it'll be it'll be glorious and amazing and unfathomable and that's just an amazing thought to think of during this time like easter and spring just joy and happiness and pretty colors and all of that like I feel like it's almost like another little reflection of heaven and what happens after we rise again. And because Jesus did not escape, we get to experience the rise again. We get to experience heaven. 
And so during this time of craziness, and we all wish that we could just escape this and that quarantine could be done, and like the worries and stress of work, and when we go back, and people who aren't graduating, and the kids who need this extra time of school to learn because it's not the same when you have to do it on the computer. Or just all the people who just want to leave their houses and go hug their neighbor again. It just it isn't happening right now. And so one final thing that we can just rest on is that because Jesus has taken this pain, don't make it for nothing. He already finished it. And so we can cast all of our cares onto him, all of our anxiety, all of our worry, everything onto him. And he will, because he has declared that it is finished. It is done and we are here and we don't have to escape. He is our escape for us. And so during this time, I just pray over everyone that you'll have an ease at heart and that you'll be able to just use this time and to come out even better, even stronger, more perfected in your faith so that when it all is done and when we see the end, we know that God's hand was on it the whole time and that we can share that love and light and joy that he has produced in us and to the world around us in hopes that it's a little more like heaven. And yeah, that's all I got today. So I hope all of y'all have a wonderful day and have an amazing Easter with your families. Bye.